Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium Web Driver videos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to handle JavaScript alert boxes or dialog boxes using Selenium Web Driver. So, uh, JavaScript have three types of different uh, types of alert boxes. We can name it as these are alert box, and another one is called confirmation box, and another one is called pop up boxes. Okay, let me tell you what each one of these. So, alert boxes are something like when you just click on any button or link or something which will show you some information. So, what does the alert box will do is it will show you some information which has to come through the user. So, what the user has to do is he has only one option. So, he just need to click on OK, OK button. There is no cancel or no button here. That is what an alert box. So, what does it do? It in uh, the intention of this alert box is something like where you know the information has been given to the user and the user is agreeing to that information. All right. So, what is a, a confirmation box? Confirmation box is something like where you know which will show you some information where the user has been given a choice to choose whether you want to go ahead or you want to cancel that operation or saying no to that option that kind of uh, like you know responsiveness you can get it from using confirmation boxes all right there is an another thing another dialog box called pop-up box what does it mean is in addition to this ok and cancel which can where we can have also enter some text which will provide uh, which we can provide some text into here all right so let me show you what i'm going to demonstrate in this video all right in this alert box what i'm trying to do is i'm just clicking on this button once my alert box uh, pops up i just want to get some text over here all right after that once i have my text i just want to click on ok button or if i in in confirmation box i'm planning to do click on ok or cancel so this kind of alert boxes will come uh, in many situations right for example say you are trying to uh, uh, insert one record or you are trying to like you know deleting some record in a web developer or something so what it will do, uh, show you is it will show you a dialog box or alert box saying this record has been deleted where you just need to click on ok button that's it all right so that kind of behavior we can capture in alert boxes all right so now in confirmation box uh, confirmation box what it says is here in this example what i am doing is once i click on click on this click me button which shows some confirmation box if i click on ok button which will show you click ok all right so if i click on to simulating this cancel once i click on cancel which will uh, display you click on cancel so whatever the button which i press there that will be displayed here all right if i click on ok which will says ok you click on ok button if you click on cancel which will show you like you clicked on cancel all right and the other one is like you know once i uh, in this again i am simulating clicking on click me and i am trying to enter something say like uh, udai or something and then just click on ok which will show you thank you Uday, whatever the name which I entered there which will show you that name and some ex some text all right if I click on cancel which show, which doesn't show you anything else here so just if I click on cancel which doesn't show anything here so which is I'm going to demonstrate in this video all right so first uh, I'm demonstrating a light box I'm just uh, creating a Firefox instance after that I am going to this alert box example so uh, I am going to this example and after that I am just clicking on the click me button and in order to switch to like you know handle this alert box what we have to do is we have to use this syntax so you need to use alert of this is an instance of alert and which is equal to what we have to do is, is we have to use this method like you know driver dot switch to dot alert which will return you an instance of alert once we have this alert i want to print out like you know what text message is getting printed here 
so in in real time scenarios which can be the user has been created so which makes sure that you can put a some if condition you are trying to insert something in your application which says that okay the record has been insert uh, inserted or the user has been created something like that right so that information you want to validate it so for that what you have to do is you need to get this text right so the, in order to do that what we have to use is with this alert alert instance you need to use get text method so what this get text method will do is whatever the text is displayed here will be captured uh, and this uh, this string will be returned all right so i'm just printing that written text into my console all right so because uh, this is on like you know alert box where we don't have cancel i just want to click on okay button right so for that what we have to do is uh, we, we are accepting this alert right for that what we have to do is you can use alert dot accept method the thing is the java problem right the javascript ls doesn't we cannot get like you know cannot get the identification of this once you just place over this button and when you click right click it doesn't show you anything if it is a normal uh, web object or something in your application which will show you that uh, object properties right because this is an alert box which doesn't show you any properties you cannot right click and use inspect uh, inspect element all right so in order to handle these kind of alert boxes we have to use alert uh, like you know alert uh, object where the syntax is driver dot switch to dot alert okay alert dot accept will be simulating like clicking on okay button alert dot dismiss is something like you clicking on cancel all right so let me execute this example and show you how how exactly it is getting displayed so because this is an alert box i am just demonstrating accept all right uh, so let me execute this as you can see which pops up this uh, uh, which open this url then after that okay uh, an alert box has came and after that it because this is an uh, click on accept button which closes that dialog and i'm trying i close that uh, web page which i opened earlier and here you can see whatever the text is displayed over there the same text has been printed in my console all right so let me demonstrate uh, how to handle confirmation messages all right as i told confirmation is something like uh, once you just click on this button which will show you either you need to click on okay or cancel you can capture whatever the message that is displayed here which i am demonstrating here i'm just navigating to this url after that i am clicking on click me button and i am capturing this uh, alert like you know uh, alert into my variable called alert and once i have my alert object i am just getting the text so whatever the text is displayed here that can be i am capturing it into a variable or you can put it and write it into some console all right once i have uh, like you know once i capture my text i can do uh, accept or dismiss so accept is something like you are clicking on okay dismiss is something like you are clicking on cancel so let me demonstrate both of these things so let me execute it and show you how exactly it is getting displayed so which basically clicks on okay button because it clicked on okay which has displayed here as you clicked on okay button all right so now so as i told earlier right so you are just clicking on okay that can be simulated by just using alert dot accept how can i click on cancel you need to use alert dot dismiss which is simulating clicking on cancel let me execute it as you can see firefox instance is started click on uh, uh click don't click me pop up comes up and click don't cancel because of that which shows like you click don't cancel button right so that's how we'll handle uh, uh confirmation boxes all right 
so let me demonstrate about how to handle pop up messages so in the same way right uh, you just click on click me you enter something here okay this confirmation has like you know one step ahead of like you know confirmation box where it will show you some and uh, edit box where the user can be given some chance to enter something uh, the common thing like you know enter your age or something if you enter some yes which will validate that kind of stuff you can do that but because this uh, edit box cannot be who cannot and we don't know the what properties of uh, this edit box because once you just right click on it which you cannot inspect uh, this element because this is an uh, kind of alert and dialog box right so how can we handle this pop up message the, in the same way like as alerts and confirmation uh, confirmation boxes we need to create an alert instance using like driver dot switch to dot alert all right alert dot get text method what it will do is it will print whatever the name that you have given here that can be captured by using alert dot get text method i'm trying to enter something because uh, this is an edit box uh you, you directly you can use alert dot send keys method all right so which will directly send the text whatever the text that you want to give here that can be entered here all right so after that you can use either accept or okay so you can enter something and click okay or even if you enter uh, something and click on cancel right so those two those two things can be done using accept and dismiss so let me demonstrate with this All right, let me execute this code and show you what is getting printed here. Yeah, as you can see, the pop-up comes up and entered over there, and because of that, it's getting the string is getting displayed. All right, so let me demonstrate the same thing with dismiss. because it is dismissed uh, it doesn't enter anything in that html page that's what it's even though because it's clicked on cancel nothing get displayed here all right so and uh, because it's get dot text whatever the text is there in that prompt box right uh, pop up messages that is got displayed here that is how we use javascript alert boxes um i uh, using web driver all right so uh, in your application right you might come across like you know different pop up messages but they are not they may not be like javascript pop up messages just be aware of using this we can use this driver dot switch to dot alert only for that javascript alert or dialog boxes so we cannot use like you know there might be some fancy stuff with the dialog boxes which are not exactly the alert boxes okay during those situations we cannot use uh, driver dot switch to dot alert all right so that's all in this video if you like this video please leave your comments about this video and also share with your friends okay thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you